Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for being here with me. So today we're gonna be trying out um, Rowan. Now I haven't tried this with you all, so I decided to try the little bit that I have from them. Uh, I have to be honest, this is like the second time I pulled this palette out and I bought it a while back. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, it was when all these reds were very, very in style or in trend, like the Charlotte Tilbury, Walk of No Shame, and all of those. This terracotta brown red was very much in style. Yeah, I made a little mess of that one. That was with my finger trying to get the product because these are very creamy. But the reason why I never um, took them out, well, I guess the first thing I have to say, I'm trying this. <laughs> I'm trying the brush and I I have on the gloss. Where did I put it? Yes, the gloss from Rowan. So I really love the gloss. So what I was saying, now go back to now, if you wanna see how these products go in my face, please keep on watching. <laughs> Ay, Dios mio. I'm gonna to have to make a cheat sheet and know the sequence so I can start doing these videos in a certain way. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to Claudia's world. <laughs> All right, so what I was saying, um, the reason I don't pull this that much, even though I know it's a favorite and a lot of people that are very into cream products really swear by this brand, but I know some brands have a learning curve and I just haven't got the hang of this. So if you have tips or you wanna tell me how this gets done please welcome because well let's see what happens today but um the two times that i tried it before i had a lot of trouble um so why am i putting it down before trying it and seeing what's up right so let's try it let's try it because it's a favorite everybody loves it or loved it now which one is this this is the mood forever uh toasty impressions so I guess this is mood forever. I know they had a cool tone, a warm tone, so I don't know which one is this. It looks warm, right? I mean, with the reds and the kind of, remember those rose golds and things like that? Yeah, it was all, I think things are changing. I think the trend now is going very, very neutral, but we'll see, we'll see because this was a favorite. And I'm gonna try it with a little blush of Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I haven't used this since I showcased it for you all. So I wanted to see if this blush will work for this. So, all right, let's begin. Oh, what I have in my face. I uh, tried the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation because it's so easy. And because I ran out of my sample of number one, the Chanel, and it hasn't arrived. I did order the foundation, we'll see when it comes. So I applied the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation, which is the easiest, fastest, creamiest, really love it. Then I apply the gloss. I have the eye line, the lip liner of Victoria Beckham, number three, which I keep telling you, I keep reaching for it. Um, there are my dogs outside. I did pull this MAC, um, spice lip pencil this was a favorite i think i mean most people had it because i just wanted to see how it will look a little bit on top of this i think it's too wet and i think it's not showing a little bit just to spice it up because this colors that's what it reminds me this bronzing sort of copper colors so I am rambling and rambling because I'm a little scared as usual to try it out here in camera. It's a little vulnerable, it's a little vulnerable to mess it up here with you all. So where do we start? Well, they have this, right? Let's try with that. Now I did buy their brush because I knew their um, formula was different than anything else. And so when that happens, like the Westman Atelier, I always get their tools because they're meant to work well with the products. But I been, this has a very tiny little thing with that's gonna be useful to line my eyes. And then there's this. I think finger works the best. That's why this 
happen. But let's try the brush, right? And so I'm gonna go to the lightest color. And that seems to be like a wax. Uh, I don't know if that's meant to put it under, kind of just as a primer. No, it, oh, I really don't know. I'm telling you, let's do the finger. I think that's what I did last time. No, it does have color. So it is sort of a, well, sort of a messy. <laughs> Okay, so it's cream, so I'm spreading, spreading, spreading. And now that I have it on, it's very illuminated. I'm gonna use the brush. So, okay, I'm getting the hang of it. All right, all right, so it is brightening. It started being shimmery, so I guess if you apply it very compactly, you can make a little more shimmer out of it, but once you start spreading it out, it spreads out. My question is if it will dry like a powder. It looks a little patchy, tiny bit, might be my lid. Look at this. Well, there's a lot to cover, right? Because I did put a little bit of the foundation stick, but I guess very, very little. One thing I did different today with the foundation sticks from Westman Atelier is I apply, the, I apply them with a brush. And I'm finding out that's not the best application even though it works. The best application is with finger like I have shown you in all my other videos. But today, I felt I was in a hurry. Not really in a hurry, but I felt I was in a hurry. Just do, 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 do real quick. So anywho, I'm just trying to see if this sets I mean, it's beautiful, right? Do you see a difference on this side? All right, so let's go to the next one. I'm gonna go to the gold pink, that one, and I'm gonna put it in my lid. Now, this already feels a little drier. The other one felt creamy, waxy, and then it dried out. And this one feels more, it doesn't feel like a powder, but it doesn't feel creamy. It feels, it's an interesting consistency. It feels dry, but I guess once I apply it because my lid is creamy from the other one, and I think that's what they intended. So, so this product really grabs well, and it is sort of applying in that sort of way. It's interesting because I always say I want a little messy application, you know, like it's not perfect. And it seems like this does that. <laughs> I know for some of you, maybe it's not a good thing, but it's not a bad thing. Look, it's, it's applying very nice. It's interesting because I would compare this to the iPods from Charlotte Tilbury, uh, and I'll pull them out just to see. The consistency is totally different. My question is the end result, if you will look. This looks lighter. It's looking nice especially with my hooded eyes. Hmm, all right. And then we're gonna go to this one. Looks like it has a lot of sparkle. Can you see while well, I'm picking it up with, let's see if you can see. Like it has that golden sparks, right? Um, let me see how good or how bad. This is what happened to me last time. It is, and I think that's the learning curve. I'm not very sure I'm applying it correctly. I mean, it's showing, look at that. But it's, it looks like if it was patchy, but I have a feeling that is the way the product works. So I think that's the learning curve because what do you do with that? So maybe I apply it too low. Now I'm touching it, okay. So very creamy. So I don't understand the use of the brush because I have not been able to do something with it. And again, it has a lot of sparkle. Now, look at that. 
He's looking nice, but I have to feel more comfortable with this. You see what I mean about the patchiness? It's not patchy, it's just the way product performs. So I know this is the whole point. I'm just gonna line it up in the bottom. I don't get it, the brush, because it's so creamy. And it applies perfect with the finger. But when I apply my with the brush, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But okay. There it is. I mean, what do you guys think? It's lovely. So let me pull out the Charlotte Tilbury that I was telling you about so I don't forget and then you think I forgot completely. So I'm gonna pull out the Walk of No Shame. You see the similarities? All right, so let me swatch them. So that's Rowan. Look how beautiful. Swatch is amazing. See, from the touch, nothing. The Walk of Shame feels a little smoother. Like the other one looks, feels waxier. This is Rowan. This is Walk of No Shame. Now let me swatch the other one. They're not similar. So these two are Rowan. This is Walk of No Shame. So the Walk of No Shame is definitely more redder. Right, more copper. This one is pinkier and this one is browner. All right, that's good to know. Um, and they apply very different. I mean, but on the swatches, you can tell they look very similar, just different colors. But there's definitely more shimmer on this. And it's not called shimmer, more spark, more light reflecting. Because there's no shimmer per se. You see the gold sparks in there? And this one is just light reflecting without those gold sparks. This gold sparks remind me of the new La Comet, Chanel La Comet lipsticks. They have those kind of sparkle sparkles, gold sparkles. So anyhow, what a distraction, right? I don't want to continue doing uh, my eye. So, so far I love the combination I did between the browner and then the lighter gold pink gold look how beautiful that looks so i'm liking it's just i guess my insecurity because i do see little patches. you see like all the sparkles here and then it's kind of mate or nothing there i don't know if you can tell so i guess that's the way it's supposed to look hmm. and then last but not least let's put that and i don't remember what happened there but i know i couldn't get the product that's why it's so pushed in so i'm just gonna apply it here in the middle This one is a soft pink. Let me swatch it for you, but it had a lot, the most sparkles. You see that? All right, let's swatch that baby. Again, um, if you have tips of what? Is this the way it's supposed to be? Am I doing something wrong? Because I know this is being loved. So this one is one of the shades and then this three. Look how beautiful that looks. So, I don't know if I should start with that one and the other eye, just so you see it. I'm gonna use my finger. And see if I was just quick and easy, right? Maybe that's the, maybe that's the formula, quick and easy. And I don't know if I should buff it like I did the other one, which it did work. You know, I'm gonna use the brush. I'm doing a combination here just to see what works the best. No, see, I don't like that. And I, you know me, I don't like smooth, but I mean, I like it, but I'm confused by it because I feel it's too messy. All right, so I'm gonna put the copper one on top just to see if it makes a difference. And the other one, I didn't use that sort of rosy gold. And then I'll use the favorite. My favorite is the brownish copper because it brings that red-ed copper penny <laughs> look. And I think that complements me for my blue eyes. Hmm. 
So I was just pushing it. Now I'm swiping. The reason I'm doing is, is seeing how the product performs and seeing if maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. And it is coming all the way down here. So I think I find it a little messy and I feel bad. I don't want to put this product down because it's obviously me that doesn't know how to work it. And then once you find out how to work it, you're like, oh my God, because the colors are beautiful. So now that I apply the, this one on top of that one, uh, it's a little lighter, but I don't like it. So I'm just going to apply more of this, see if I can equalize to the other. Because the color, I love. It's getting a little better. Okay, it's getting a little better. You know, in art, what do they say? Things get worse before they get better. <laughs> and for most makeup, I don't know if you have noticed, when you know and you've done it before, you're like, yeah, don't worry. It doesn't look nice now, but at the end it will look nice, right? Because that's experience for you. You're like, I've been here before and I know this is how it looks. But for this, I haven't been here before. <laughs> and I don't know if it's going to get any better. <laughs> but I think it's getting better. So I'm going to take the lilac sort of and put here in the middle since it's so shimmery. Uh, I think I prefer many others because uh, I love the color. I do like the bronzy, penny, golden, uh, but I don't like the application. I'm confused by it. See, now I have all these sparkles here. Confused. I apologize for that. So the eyeliner that I pull to work with was um or is victoria beckham bronze and let me just swatch it here because it might not work it's too much yeah it might work because it's the green right i mean it's bronze it's kind of when i look at it i'm like oh my god that would look awesome with the new chanel mediterranean I thought the olive green, the new one, was gonna look great with it, which might still work because it's olive green, but it's almost black, it's very dark. I was not expecting that, but it is. And, uh, but right now that I just swatched this, which I haven't used, I'm like, oh my God, that one with the Mediterranean was gonna look awesome because it has golden uh, green. And this is not, it looks a little in the golden. Gold, but the all gold that I described the other one. It says bronze, but you know what I mean? That all gold that almost becomes, I guess, bronze? I don't know. This to me looks very greenish. Nevertheless, I like it. Because I could wear burgundy with this as well. Should we try burgundy on the other eye and see? Hi right, guys, I want to be neat with you all in the videos and all. I know you guys have been so supportive. You guys are like, be yourself. Who cares? <laughs> Which I really appreciate. I'm trying. I'm being myself. Actually, I'm not trying. I can't help it. Um, but I do know when you see videos or when you see a program or something, there the structure always helps the brain. It makes it at ease. So... I don't know, maybe you like the surprise and you just like the, <laughs> that is me, authenticity, that's what it's called. Um, but you know, my stra I, I want to be a little more structured for you guys so you kind of know what's coming and you know what it is there and all of this, maybe. All right, so you, see, rambling, do you follow what I'm saying? I'm not rambling for rambling. There's a, there's an order in my madness. So. I tried the bronze, let me, let me summarize for you. I tried the bronze, which is bronze, but I call it kind of all gold and it has a little bit of greenish. Follow that thought? I wish I had, okay, so let me give you an example. So this, this is the Lisa Eldridge, 
This is a parenthesis. This is Elisa Eldridge uh, glasses. So obviously I guess she thinks, or she, this is gold, right? But then look at the Fenty. I think this is 14K or 20K glass. So this is gold. I guess this is called shiny gold, but this one also has shine to it. And this is what I mean is going from the gold gold towards the old gold. This is to me go toward to the old gold. And eventually, I don't have anything that will resemble what I'm talking about, but eventually it will go to that, I guess, bronze. No, well, this is very light gold. Um, I'm trying to go to that bronze, but I call it old gold. But you, I think you understand what I'm saying. Oh my God, now I'm seeing like, oh, I have rose gold and I have a little another shiny gold. Look at this. Oh my God, this is looking like a whole jewelry. <laughs> is that too much imagination? <laughs> I'm telling you, when you... Tell your mind to look for something, you start seeing everything like that, right? Like if you say um, pregnant woman and then all of a sudden you start seeing all this pregnant woman everywhere. All right, so now I'm going all over the place. Let's get back to it. So where we left off is I tried bronze on this side, which I really like. And I'm gonna try burgundy on this, Bordeaux, which is sort of the burgundy. Let's watch it for you. See, this is bronze and this is Bordeaux. And this is um, Victoria Beckham's. And I just wanna see the, the difference between the two eyes. And then I guess I will equalize them, putting one on top of the other, cause why not? But for this sake, I want you to see the difference. All right, so this is Bordeaux, more burgundy. And this is the bronze. I really like both, wow. So this one, it's a little more accentuated because the color is a little darker, but look how subtle this looks, right? Oh, that's so beautiful. All right, so I really like the uh, bronze better, but at this moment, I don't think I can reduce this. Let me see if the brush will work. I'm just putting it in. And if you saw my last two videos where I, um, I learned sort of through a tutorial of Natasha Denona. What I learned the most, because I was using the Love palette, right? So it was pinkish, not my favorite, but, um, but there you have it, Valentine's, whatever. So I was learning with her, but what I learned, it was like nine shades, right? Nine shades for a look. And she was going all the pinks and purples, and then she added red. I was like, what? And she added red very strategically in certain areas. So right now I am thinking in that way that this board dogs, if I spread it out a little bit and um, uh, if, all right. I am like, now that the eyeshadows are setting, cause they seem like they're drying out, they don't look like what is going on. I'm liking them more, I have to say. So now I'm getting it, I'm getting it. So, there is, it's not a learning curve how to put them on, well, a little bit, but it's more a learning curve to allow it to, to set and do its thing. Cause look how beautiful they're looking now. All right, all right. Hey, that's a learning curve. I'm telling you, when you play with products, you need to get them. And when they say it's a favorite or a bestseller, then it makes you curious and wants to, to try them, right? And wants to know why or what is it that you're missing when you are not enjoying using them. I think I still have to learn with them because I, when I get a brand, I feel with it as I'm applying it. And this one, I'm liking what I'm seeing, but I'm not feeling it. Does that make sense? So that means I still have a learning curve with this. Look how beautiful. So I'm gonna go and put mascara and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. 
So I went the whole way and did my Tom, Bra uh, Tom Ford gel eyebrows. You know that when I pull that out, I'm going all of it in. <laughs> and by the way, that product is being discontinued, this one or reformulated. But in the meantime, while we find out, I need recommendations for a good eyebrow gel. So if you know of your favorites, please list them below because I want to know. I tried so many already and um, I don't, I'm going to have to start going in a hunt. So I'm in a hunt for a new eyebrow gel. So please suggestions. I would appreciate them. All right. So what I did was um, apply mascara. I used the Clay de Peau mascara. I've been enjoying that quite a bit. And I pull out this new tool. <laughs> it's not new but I don't use it that much. It's called Sigma Lash Fans 4. And so it seems like the mascara, maybe because it's, it's drying out now, it, I've been using it for a while. Um, it gave me a little lumps. And so this, see, mm -hmm, is supposed to clean it up. And so that's why I decided to pull it out and do it with you all because I haven't seen this baby being used that much in YouTube. Do you have it? Did you know about it? So it is a little fan and it is working. I think um, I took a little longer than expected to use it in front of the camera because I applied the, the gel after. So my mascara dried up a little bit. It's easier to use when the mascara is fresh and wet and it really slides all the bumps, but I think it's working. Looks nice. All right. So there you have it, this little fan. All right, look how beautiful. I like them. I mean, I don't know who I am after my I don't know if I like them, I don't know if I like them, and then at the end, look, I think it looks nice. Now, next step, please, next step. Another thing I wanted to do real quick is apply a little bit of bronzing and we're gonna go with this terracotta theme. And so I'm gonna apply the uh, Goa from Chantikai. I haven't applied this with you all, I don't think. And so I am taking the Sonia G little fan, the smaller. I have the big one. I don't enjoy it as much as this one. What's it called? Uh, Sculpt 2. And so we're just going to And what I had already, I had put the, the Biscuit from Westman Atelier, the line that you see me in other videos use all the time. I had done that. And look how beautiful. This Goa is so nice and pretty because it has a little red, a little red in it. So it's not orangey or tanning. It's more in the redder tone. And since we're using all these warm colors, Oh, I'm loving it more and more. Okay, Rowan, I apologize. It is shimmery lightning, but oh, the colors are just copper. It's nice with the, my blue eyes. Ooh. All right, all right. Redeem yourself, redeem. I'm gonna be pulling it out more and more now. Um, I like it even for night. I mean, if you put a very uh, little darker eyeliner, maybe like a dark brown and that ash, what was it, bronze? Mm-hmm, combined with the borders. I'm liking it. I'm discovering something. Mm-hmm. All right. So you can put a little peachy, I mean, probably the Chanel, the new one. That's what I will pull. I'm debating if I should put the Natasha Denona that I mentioned because this is so pretty like this. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the Chanel blush. So this one. You know what I'm gonna need to do with this is put some labels because they all look the same. Look, the same. So you have to keep reading. At least you know is this collection because it has the gold Chanel versus the white Chanel but then I don't know which is which. So really what I would do after um, after that bronzing will be to apply just a tiny bit 
because you know the trend right now is almost no blush. That's where we are. And with that, oh yeah, this looks nice. And I wouldn't even go to any highlight because some has fallen. <laughs> and so this will be my final look. I don't know if I should add the Natasha Denona Reddit. I don't think I will because I'm liking this so much. This is the Rowan gloss. It's a little in the PT. It has gold in it. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a little more brown, but it's, it's called Bowie. But I think it's so perfect with this. I mean, look at that, <laughs> right? <laughs> Ay, Dios mio. All right. Well, I'm loving this look. I hope you love it too. This is where we're gonna we're gonna wrap. This is the final look. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you had a little fun with me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do at this moment. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner and thumbs up. And most important, uh, comment below. Join me. Remember, I'm looking for a eyebrow gel. I'm looking for. Uh, the other day I mentioned it in the other video, the dark plum or dark fuchsia sort of lipstick. I have plenty, and so not all of them I will look for, but I am looking for one that doesn't have that much red in it and it's not pink. So just FYI, nothing to do with this look, right? So don't deviate. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.